adjust a care today with Trish and I'm sitting in a lovely piece of equipment. What am I sitting in? The wheel chair. Right. That's an interesting <laughs> brand name. Tell us more. So it's a Japanese um, inspired power chair um, that is ideal for indoors. Um, it can absolutely go out, outdoors, but as you can see while Scott's turning, those wheels won't pop out to the side and therefore you're eliminating banging into doorways, mm. etc. So tell us a little bit about these wheels that look very different. Yeah, so they are still just a rubber a wheel yeah. um, and replaceable should any parts right. become an issue. Um, but yeah, it's, it's more about the turn. Yep. It makes it so unique to many of our other power chairs that just we actually have. Just a standard have. wheel that yeah. then turns on its point and, and actually moves the whole wheel piece. This has that ability to just rotate yeah. on the spot, which is quite incredible, yeah, really. it really is. Yep. Yeah. Um, other features of yeah. this model? Um, so it is adjustable. So yep. if you need the arms to be um, raised, you can actually, when we're piecing it together for the individual client, we can have those arms raised, we yep. can have the backrest lowered or raised as yep. well, um, and the seat height as well. Okay. So the footrest, as we mentioned, can actually accommodate your weight just standing straight up on yep. it. So we're not in concern of it tipping up. Yep. Which is incredible. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, ability with cushions. So that can be replaced. So yep. if you're wanting to pop on a pressure care cushion, yep. we can actually take off the chair, the cushion that comes with the chair. Yep. and replace that, that's not a problem at all. Um, ability for this to be tied down in a vehicle? Absolutely, yep. so it's not going to fold up really, really tight and yep. small and, and be very yep. lightweight, um, but if family members were present, we can absolutely yep. um, you know, get the weight of it into somebody's boot or take it, yep. take it out yep. with them. Um, where do you see people use this the most? Are they using that in and around their home yeah. primarily? Yeah. From our point of view of the clientele that we've seen that have been interested with it, it's definitely been more indoor use yeah. based on the fact that people are coming into us saying, yeah. my home is ruined, I have you know, taken chunks out of all of yeah. my door frames. With so they're a looking for something. scooter. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah. So that's where it has become the most popular yeah. interest. Yeah. It has decently sized wheels to yeah. na na navigate some outdoor use. Absolutely, but... it's still 100% fine for using outdoors yeah. um, and over relatively rough terrain. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Any other things that you would like to touch on? It's just super cool. Got a nice Do little, <laughs> nice little horn. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. I just love how it's nice and compact, yeah. and you can see that, like that, um, what you've said, it's very much meets that need of being able to gain independence moving around the home especially you know around tight narrow corridors with lots of little rooms ducking off each side Absolutely. that ability to come down a corridor and be right next to a door and just square up to that door and then go through is such a brilliant feature where you're right we often see people with other scooters they will inadvertently you know run into walls and door frames and that can not only be an aesthetic risk to the home, but it's also a risk to the individual. We mm. can see people, you know, sustaining skin tears, um, knocking in elbows into things, um, door frames, walls, etc. when they're moving around in a larger piece as well. So this is nice and compact to be able to get through those tight areas. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Wonderful. Thanks so much for your time. We'll see you in the next episode.